Hi guys. Okay, so here it is. This is part two of my tummy tuck journey. I have a lot of things to cover with you today. There's going to be many parts to this video. Today, I know my last video was I think Saturday. So my, today is, I don't even know what day it is. Uh, Monday. And I'm sorry for that beeping. I am very short and my husband said he would fix the, it's the carbon detector. So we are going to do that today. We like to stay on top of those. We do have children in the house. So, okay. So I picked up my medication from the pharmacy for the surgery. The surgery Okay, I'm going to back up. Sorry. I'm really, really excited, you guys. I'm so nervous, though. Okay, I'm going to start off with today um, what I have to do. Because, as I said on Saturday, I had my uh, pre-op appointment. And we covered a lot of things in that pre-op appointment. But one of the things she said is uh, three to four days uh, pre-op. I have to start a liquid diet. So I am currently starting a liquid diet, but I am vegetarian. So chicken broth is out of the question and vegetable broth. It just has a lot of sodium. And I'm starting to realize that the shakes that I got have a lot of sodium too. But a lot of people, I joined a Facebook group that recommended these shakes. They actually recommended the Premier shakes, but your girl's broke. So I just got Walmart and it's pretty much the same thing, but the sodium content in these that I'm going to show you seems to be more, I don't know. But so I'm officially, I started when I woke up this morning, I officially started my liquid diet. And let me just tell you that I love food. So it's really hard. I'm struggling guys. I'm just struggling. So I wanted to show you what I'm going to be having on my liquid diet for the next three days. I have to do all of today, which is Monday, Tuesday, all of Wednesday, and then Thursday morning I go in for my tummy tuck. So you guys. Okay. First things first. I, my um, friend got me Gatorade. I am staying away from red only because I have always learned uh, being a nurse that you want to stay away from red as far as like surgery, before surgery, after surgery, because, you know, if something is wrong and you vomit and it's red, everybody's going to freak out and something could be wrong. So I got Gatorade. You want to keep up on the electrolytes, you know, get your body prepped and ready. The whole reason for the liquid diet she told me is because I am getting a tummy tuck with muscle repair and if you get all the food out of your system and kind of clear everything out that it just makes the results better you know she can see it better or something I don't know I was too excited you guys I was too excited about my surgery to kind of listen to every single detail to you know why I had to go on the liquid diet I was just you guys so Gatorade um, these, so they are the Walmart brand, um, high performance protein shakes. I got caramel because I love caramel. I would just like shower in caramel if I could. I just love it. So let me see. Hopefully you guys, you can see it. Sorry, I don't have my glasses. I'm like, what? So yeah, if you look at the side, oh, that's crappy. Okay. 30 grams of protein, one gram of sugar. And then 24 uh, vitamins and minerals. So I'm going to have two of these a day. I believe you can have three. But I'm going to be having um, my Gatorade, protein shake. And these were actually, I mean, it's not too expensive. I got a case of these. I think there was like 12, 11 or 12 in, in, in the case for like maybe $12 or something. Okay, and then I got my handy dandy water bottle. Again, this was like 98 cents. Oh, you know what, guys? I'm going to help you out here. So get a pen and paper and write all of this down because if you are like me, you want to plan everything out. And I got this at Walmart. It was literally 98 cents. And today is May 18th. So 
Um, I don't know if your Walmart has it wherever you are, but they do have cheap options or the dollar store works perfectly fine. So if you're starting a list of how much pre-surgery things are going to cost, water, water bottle. If you want the straw, get the bendy straw, like the plastic disposable straws. It's going to be easier for you to like, you know, drink when you can't move or whatever. But yeah, so water bottle, 98 cents to a dollar. Um, a pack of Gatorade. I don't know, guys, like six, seven dollars. I got the one that had like eight. So your girl's excessive. And then the case, this I want to say 12 to 14 dollars. I always price things on the high end. So I would just put like 14 dollars. All right. Um, so yeah, water, lots of water, guys, lots of water. And not only is it good for your skin, but you know, you want to stay hydrated. So Gatorade. All right. So that's pretty much all I'm having. I might have some vegetable broth or like I got a can of minestrone and I'm going to pour it out and just take all of the, the broth out and the juice out and just kind of sip on that. Maybe my second or third day. I'll really be struggling then, guys. So that is what I wanted to touch base on first because I will be doing that for three days and I don't know about you guys but that's a long time so all right the next thing that I want to touch base on is that at the pre-op appointment she gave me all of the medication that um I have to take after the surgery but um I don't know if you're like me but anesthesia it makes me kind of nauseous so I told her about that at my pre-op appointment and she gave me a scopolamine patch um, so I put this on, it says apply one patch behind the ear the night before surgery. So it's just a patch for nausea. So I got this. This was one of the prescriptions. Now my my insurance, I'm on uh, the, the state insurance for where I live. And that did not cover any of this medication because it is an elective surgery. So just so you guys are aware of that. And for all of the medication that I'm about to show you, I don't know if we used GoodRx or not, but it was like 60 to 67, I think, $67 or $70. So for all of this, but it all depends on how many pills you get from your plastic surgeon. Uh, my plastic surgeon did not, I'll just show you. Okay, so we have the nausea patch. We have the antibiotics. I was given a uh, cephalexin, so I have to take one capsule uh, by mouth three times a day. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like, just in case you're wondering. And don't judge me on my nails, okay? I'm in quarantine. That's a big pill, you guys. I don't know about you. I don't know about you, but I am such a baby when it comes to pills. So, all right, that's the antibiotic that you have to take afterwards. Three a day, basically. All right. And then we have the diazepam. Now, uh, that is like Valium that is going to relax you. Uh, I have to take one half to one tablet by mouth every six hours as needed. This is 10 milligrams diazepam. That is what she gave me. She only gave me 10 pills. So there's only 10 of these. Um, the other one, the antibiotic, that was 15, and it's 500 milligrams for the antibiotic, but there's only 15 pills. All right, the next one is hydrocodone. That's a pain pill. It is the 5-325 milligram. Again, she only gave me 10 tabs, so I'm going to see how I'm feeling the first, like, day or two. Um, I don't want to be, I have been given some advice. If you don't have to take it, then don't because you want to get up and start walking around, you know, day of surgery, day after surgery, you know, that's going to be the way that you heal the fastest. So walk, 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 walk is what I'm told. I mean, don't overdo it, obviously. And I am not a doctor or a surgeon. So um, if you have any other questions, please go to them. But, yeah, so this is, um, 
don't know I'm gonna be very careful with these because there's only 10 so I'm hoping I'm not in like extreme extreme pain all right so as far as surgery items go as far as medication these is what I was given and you get to take them at your pre-op, not take them, but like she gives you the prescriptions and you have to go get them. We wanted to get that out of the way. So liquid diet, the antibiotics. So next I want to talk about kind of what I've been doing leading up to the surgery. And when I say what I've been doing, I mean a week because I'm very irresponsible and I kind of need to just like start living my best life. And I've been trying to do that. Um, as you can tell, I have my antibiotics uh, in my pill thing. Now, I'm not going to open up all of these to show you right now, but I will show you what's in them. Again, it's the green antibiotic, and it's filled up for all the days that I do have to take it starting Thursday because that's my surgery day. But leading up to it, and so I am taking one-a-day women's vitamin. Okay, now you can also take a prenatal vitamin that is perfectly fine too. I don't know if that's better. If you have done that, let me know. But yeah, I've been taking one of these a day. And then uh, I am vegetarian, so my B12 is always low. So I take B12. Now I know that the multivitamin has B12 in it but you're basically just gonna pee out what your body doesn't need. So it's not really that big of a deal. So I have my B12. Um, I am not taking my iron because this does have iron in it. I am not even sure if it has enough iron, but my doctor said as long as I'm taking these, not to really worry about it, there isn't gonna be a huge amount of blood loss. So that is that. Now, I, so that's what's in my pill, a daily vitamin, a B12, and then the antibiotics. Um, but I am also on Zoloft. So um, that is uh, like a sertraline Zoloft. It's for depression. Um, I am on, I am on that. So that will, I didn't finish loading this yet. So that will be on it. Um, and then I take clonazepam. And that's just a regular one. I, I take it once a day. Um, that is a benzo. So it's it's um, for like anxiety. So those were not given to me by my plastic surgeon. That's my regular medication provider. Um, let's say, so leading up to the surgery date, the night before surgery, I am going to put that patch behind my ear for nausea. And as far as medications go, so the starting midnight, Wednesday, so Wednesday night, midnight, I have to start fasting. Like don't eat, well, I'm not going to be eating anything. So don't drink anything basically. Um, in the morning, she said that I can take my medication and, um, but just with like a small sip of water. So I will be taking my uh, depression medication and that's pretty much it. I think I'm for, for the night of surgery, I'm just going to be taking my like d depression medication and then put the patch on. Um, other than that, I am going to brush my teeth just with a small sip and that's it. You guys, that's pretty much all I'm doing for medication. Now I am looking behind me. So prepping for surgery. I know in my other video, my hair was whack. It was really greasy and um, it is still greasy. So I d am just a big grub ball right now because I couldn't dye my hair and I don't want to wash it. I really want to dye it. Um, so I did get this. I am just naturally, I have black hair and I just want to kind of spruce it up and, and shine it up. So I am going to dye my hair today. So that's going to be done. And... Um, Oh, nail polish remover. She said, remove all nail polish. I think it has something to do with, I don't know, uh, that sensor, the oxygen reader, so that they can know what your oxygen levels are during surgery, just in case they have to switch fingers. 